hello guys welcome to the continuation of the assembly tutorial as seen earlier we have completed the three parts now we shall discuss the remaining uh, three remaining uh, three out of six okay mm. uh, we shall first uh, uh, in this case we are going to export or we, can, we are going to open the fourth part which is uh, Ah, we are going to export this connecting rod like uh, structure now we are going to assemble it uh, similarly this connecting rod also acts as the uh, uh, we can give the constraint for it as a pin joint Sim because it uh, it performs some motion which are similar to the pin joint motion right mm -hmm. click on the assembly part and uh, okay part 3 check for the preview click open button uh just make some correct orientation okay right what we shall do is uh, similarly what we done for the previous one uh, select the center line and uh, give the constraint as the pin joint so provide constraint as pin and select those two circular areas right it would uh, present here now uh, partially it is being constrained still it is not complete now uh, we can, from the diagram we can see that the, uh, this uh, connecting rod should be placed exactly uh, under the uh, central axis right a uh, central plane so uh, this connecting rod uh, I can make a view this connecting rod should be placed exactly or this or like this right so this corresponding center plane as well as the corresponding center plane of the uh, elbow structure should be placed exactly together right so first for that select the, those two planes and apply the constraint now we shall first select the planes select the correct plane this is the exact center then exact center of the elbow structure now we can see that the object has been placed exactly within the object uh, within the elbow one right now the con construction constraint is uh, defined now we can check for the uh, accuracy you drag component and select the connecting rod and move the mouse now we can see that the operation is performed correct there's no error in it so we can close it uh, up to this we have uh, made uh, four parts the fifth one what we can make it is uh, the other connecting rod uh, in this case we are going to select this one right this one uh, we can connect now uh, open the assembly button uh, click on the assembly button uh, select I think part 6 is the respective one yes you can see that the uh, circular projections are there here so open it follow the same procedure uh, select the pin constraint and uh, select those circular center lines okay once you are done with it now as usual you can uh, instead of selecting the planes you can also you can also provide the distance uh, in this case uh, i i will tell you how we can get okay how we can give the distance okay just move it for our reference you can see that the um, under this we can see uh, there is no distance between the circular one and the uh, elbow like uh, structure over here over, over this structure okay the circular disc is uh, exactly placed at the beginning of the uh, L, a cup like structure so we can give that we can select those two and give the distances zero for that you can select the circular uh, surface and and the uh, cup like structure and provide the distance as zero uh, automatically it has taken as the coincident and made the distance as zero right now click OK. Now check for the accuracy. Track it. Right. It 
is absolute. Uh, we shall move on into the uh, next one. We have completed one, two, three, four, and five. Five parts we have completed. Still uh, remaining four are there. Uh, in this case, we shall uh, complete the uh, circular uh, cylinder. Okay, we shall now place the cylinder part. Right, this cylinder part we shall model now. Uh, in order to uh, 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 proceed further first we should we should uh, first uh, uh, transform the central plane okay uh, in order to make in order to uh, easy the process involved in the assembly right uh, first what we shall do is uh, mm, there is the central plane over here right uh, we shall uh, ex we can we shall transform it uh, we shall duplicate it uh, and place it over the over this central plane okay uh, why we are doing so uh, would be explained in the assembly of the next upcoming part okay in order to easy out the process of uh, assembling the next upcoming parts uh, we are doing so why because uh, we shall see it later uh, first x uh, once you select the plane you go to the plane option and uh, look for the direction as yes, it is in the current direction and you just move on and uh, place exactly where you want now you can see that the uh, exact now it has placed in the exact direction right uh, we shall keep it hmm. now you take the next one that is the cylinder s8 p8 right open it now uh, you can see this cylinder does not involve in any kind of uh, motion right so uh, we can just select the planes and make the constraint right uh, now we have placed a separate plane over here so uh, first we shall start with it select this plane and select the corresponding plane over the cylinder right once you've done so click it and provide the distance is zero right now uh, this uh, double the next perpendicular plane and make those planes as uh, collinear select the corresponding plane or the cylinder okay uh, give the distances is zero okay now only the uh, top and down motions are uh, present uh, let us constrain that also by giving the by selecting the base plate as well as the base of the cylinder okay select the base of the cylinder and since those two particles those two parts are uh, fixed together there should not be any distance available once you provide it correct you would get the status as fully constrained and the object has turned into orange color right now uh, we have completed uh, our uh, next part okay just tick it okay uh, we shall proceed further the uh, ex uh, implement the assembly of next part now uh, the next part we can deal is the piston right this one we shall do now uh, for that uh, for simplicity we shall take that uh, connecting rod uh, much higher because the, uh, the cylinder would be All right, we shall now uh, export that one. Take the reciprocating cylinder, reciprocating piston. Uh, since this piston, uh, it moves uh, into the cylinder, it reciprocates. So uh, it performs the action of the cylinder. Uh, so the constraint for this piston we can provide as a cylinder for in order to provide the constraint uh, just go to the constraint box and select the cylinder option cylinder option right for cylinder option the first thing what we should do is first we should we should select the central uh, central lines of the uh, reciprocating one as well as the cylinder one here the cylinder is uh, already placed over here so select the central axis central line of the cylinder as well as the central axis of the reciprocating piston right 
once we are done so it has moved into the cylinder uh, okay you can see that it it is moving inside but the okay uh, uh, we, uh, 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 we can see that the connection definition is complete and the object has turned to orange color but uh, it is not enough for us because the uh, the piston has two connection one with the cylinder and one with the connecting rod right so we need to introduce the constraint for the connecting rod and the uh, piston for that you go to the placement and uh, there is uh, one set for the cylinder and the piston already so uh, we need to introduce the new set in order to introduce the uh, constraints between the connecting rod and the cylinder so click on the new set once the new set uh, begins you just uh, uh, as usual what we do we shall give the pin joint structure or the uh, two center lines of the circular parts so make it as a pin joint and select the to central axis center line of the cylinder and the center line of the hole once it is done so we can see that the coincident has been uh, set up now uh, we should select the central planes center plane of the uh, connecting rod as well as the center plane of the cylinder right once those two are connected you can see that connecting rod and the cylinders and the cylinder are set up a constraint is complete and the object has once again turned it to orange color now we can make a tick mark yeah, to check for the relevance uh, make the track component and select the connecting rod and move it just make some motion you can see that it performs with absolute accuracy right okay deselect it and close the dialog box after now we have completed uh, nearly 80 percentage of the assembly now the balance is only the crank section the reciprocating, the reciprocating section is over now only the crank section is pending uh, we shall discuss, uh, discuss it in further in the next section lecture right uh, make a note of it and do follow the classes regularly uh, we shall see in the next one take care happy learning